My presentation this morning was focusing on innovation on protein ingredients. Uh, and here actually Tereos is going along different paths. We are an ingredient manufacturer, so we're working on different kinds of proteins, being it wheat-based, maize-based, alfalfa-based, uh, or potato-based. And actually what we try to do is to improve or differentiate the functionality of the proteins in order to be able to upgrade them in certain cases from the feed grade to food grade by improving extraction, by improving functionalities, so that we can also introduce them in the food market. And here, one of our biggest uh, innovation over the last two years is the texturized wheat proteins, uh, which allows to, to have the same amount of protein in a 100 gram than a meat protein, for instance. It's however different in texture, it's quite hard, so you can cook it and keep it in a sauce, which is very interesting for um, collective kitchens where the food is staying warm for a couple of hours before being served. And it's also very stable in the microbiological point of view. So we also believe that that could be a very good product to export uh, versus to, towards uh, uh, countries which are depleted in protein supply. Yes, this texturized protein, we call it today GNV, uh, because I mean, it, it's a nice product. So in the French, we mean GNV. I don't know if it's a very good word to be translated later on, but, but the idea, idea really here is to transform agricultural crop. And, and you know, in Europe, especially France, we're very big exporters of wheat. Uh, and in the coming years, basically, uh, we might be overtaken by Eastern Europe. And, and I think uh, we believe it's a very good way to uh, improve our uh, income in, in Europe, in France, uh, to transform the crops in France and also export those proteins. The biggest opportunity I see in the protein, the vegetable protein uh, side are, are basically two opportunities. One is to develop uh, new crops for new proteins, like for instance we need to improve the pea crops if we want to, to produce quantitatively uh, uh, right levels of proteins. It's to develop, like I said earlier, new proteins, new functionalities from existing crops. So that's on one side for the food industry, going eating the vegetable proteins partly instead of all giving them to the animal to produce the meat. And the second uh, opportunity I really see is all what's happening in the startup world on valorization of waste products or valorization of byproducts. So here you can talk about the insect cells, you can speak about the algae, about metagenic bacteria where you produce biomass for the feed rather than only methane for, for the energy. So I think there, there's a lot of things happening and here it's really a new source of proteins using microorganisms to concentrate diluted flows, come to concentrated proteins, which also will be able um, to feed the food pipe probably their main is through the animal chain. I really believe that uh, events like Beach for Food, and especially the Protein Summit, are very important uh, places to be and to discuss. It's a real great opportunity to network. And really, I mean, we are building a value chain on the proteins. And building a value chain, each of us thinks it's very important but sitting in our offices, in our labs, it's going to be difficult. So it's great to have a place to meet, to exchange, and move together along the value chain to create a real uh, protein, vegetable protein business for the future.